Welcome back to Coding Kaiju, my name is Diego. The company Redmonk released their first programming language rankings for 2021, and guess what? A wild GD script has appeared. From GitHub, they pull the base repository language of every project and plot that ranking to the y-axis. And from Stack Overflow, they count the number of tags from questions and plot that to the x-axis. As you can see, GD script has a good amount of projects on GitHub, but very few questions on Stack Overflow. This is probably because Godot has developed its own communities outside of Stack Overflow, and most beginner questions appear on places like the Godot forums or the Godot subreddit. A new Godot showcase has been released, this time with a developer by the name of Leonardo, the developer of Human Diaspora. Human Diaspora is a first-person shooter where the player must conquer the colony planet to save humanity. Leonardo talks about his experience using Godot for 3D games, which is a question I see get asked pretty often. I will link that interview as well as the Steam store page down in the description. He's just released a new teaser for his next big update, where you can enter and operate vehicles. The Godot Wild Jam number 31 has started. You have less than a week left to make a game and submit it to the contest. This time the theme is Something's Missing. It's called the Godot Wild Jam because every jam features three wild cards. An optional limitation in addition to the theme that could help boost your creativity. This jam's wild cards are Oregano. Everything is better with Oregano. You what might ignore the theme completely, and Duck Duck Moose have one object in your game that is of an entirely different art style. Link to the contest and full set of rules will be in the description. Arrow is an open source tool developed using the Godot engine. Arrow allows you to visually craft branching non-linear stories. Every story beat and piece of dialogue exists as a node, and you can organize and connect them. If you're making a text-based adventure or even a fully fledged RPG like Mass Effect or Fallout, Arrow can help you stay organized. There are no types for content, dialogue, dialogue, conditionals, variable modifiers, user input, and more. This project is particularly interesting because it shows that Godot is not just meant for games, Godot is flexible enough and lightweight enough to be used for other types of software. Ladderbox is a cute 3D puzzle game done with a 2D isometric art style. Your goal is to move the golden box to the exit by pushing against the other immovable boxes. Ladderbox releases on April 6th, link is in the description. Colorblindness is a Godot plugin that uses shaders to simulate colorblindness over your game. It allows you to design a better game by showing you if important HUD elements or visual cues are invisible or hard to see for your colorblind players. You can find the colorblindness plugin in the Godot asset library. Colorblindness affects approximately 1 in 12 men and 1 in 200 women in the world, so it's definitely something you'll want to consider for your games. The colorblindness plugin currently simulates protonopia, deuteranopia, tritonopia, and achromatopsia. Oh My Git is an open source game designed to teach you about Git and how it works. If you don't know what Git is, it's a very popular tool for programmers that gives you version control. Basically, it allows you to keep track of who wrote every line of code in a project. If something in your code used to work, but after some changes, now doesn't, you can use Git to find out what went wrong. Git keeps track of who edited that line of code and shows what that line of code used to be. If you need to, you can roll back your code to a previous version. Git is a must-have tool for every developer. Play the game Oh My Git and see if you learn something useful. Link will be in the description. Cyberway is an endless driving game featuring a retro 80s aesthetic and synthwave soundtrack. If you're just looking to sit back and vibe in a cyberpunk-like city, this is the game for you. 